With this session update, I'm Shannon Lurkey. At a recent press conference, Senator Roger Chamberlain spoke about his bill that would exempt children under the age of 14 from having to comply with state licensing requirements for small operations like lemonade stands. He was joined by about a dozen young entrepreneurs. Here's that media event. Good afternoon, welcome to the lemonade stand press conference. Uh, what we have here is a, a fairly simple concept, something that was um, started last summer. I believe it was Luke, he was a 13-year-old boy in Minneapolis. He had a hot dog stand, and the uh, Department of Health, I believe, uh, didn't like he was selling hot dogs on his property, so they sh wanted to shut it down. The help of the police in Minneapolis, they opened the stand back up. They helped him go through the permit process, and he opened his stand back up. So that was the impetus, the idea, the reason we're doing this. Uh, the, uh, a friend of mine gave me the idea, well, how about a lemonade stand bill? And so here we are. We have a simple bill. You wouldn't think we would need to do this. Other states have done it. But we're doing it to protect, let kids be kids, right? Uh, the kids, uh, we've been doing these things for, since the beginning of time, and nobody has been harmed. This is good for the kids, they enjoy doing it in the summer, and it provides a great service to the community. It's fun, it's carefree, and we should, shouldn't get too uptight about these things. It's perfectly safe. So with that, I'm gonna stop talking. Representative Runbeck is taking the bill in the house. She'll say a word or two. Which direction do we go? Oh, here we go, I failed. Oh, oh. Okay. There we go. go. Great. Thanks. Yes, good afternoon. I'm Linda Runbeck, uh, state representative, and I'm just happy to be joined here by so many budding entrepreneurs. Uh, it's really exciting to see kids that are getting the process and understanding that they have an opportunity, and we don't have to, they don't have to be sort of intimidated by, by bureaucracy and by you know, four-page applications and uh, $50, $50 fees to actually sign up and do this, which is really what uh, I believe Ramsey County is requiring. So this simple little bill kind of dispenses with all that and, and lets kids be entrepreneurs like they uh, sort of have a natural bent to do. So I'm happy to be on the bill and very excited to hear from the kids. I think that they're gonna share with us some very interesting thoughts. So thanks for being here. Is that good? Yeah. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> Well, cut that piece out, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, it is about the kids. Uh, we're going to let them chat. We've got a great group of kids here today, and we're going to let them talk a little bit about why they think this is a good idea. So first up, we're going to bring up David, Leah, Maggie, and Josie, and they're going to share a few words about what they think about the bill and the idea. There we go. Hi. <clears throat> I think it's a great idea, but... I'd like to make an amendment to include 15 and 16 year olds because we can't drive to our job until we're 16 years old. And I think all kids should learn how to be an entrepreneur. I know from experience, it creates um, good life experiences and um, financial independence that should not be discouraged. Thank you. I'm lucky to live in the city of Stillwater, where kids are allowed to sell their own lemonade, make their own money, and not needing a permit to do it. I support this bill, and I wish, I hope that the whole state will get to do it. Thank you. Thank you. Next is Maggie. I think kids should have the right to sell lemonade and maybe hot chocolate and fruits and vegetables. I support this bill. And Josie. I like make my own money so I can buy stuff. And I'm sure a lot of other kids would like to do that too. And I like his idea. Okay, thank you. Um, Macy, you're up. I think this bill is important because it allows kids in Minnesota to learn how to run a business and encourages them to have goals and make them happen. My mom and dad have taught me that helping others is important. And in this way, I can do that as a kid. The last couple summers, one of my friends has 
run a lemonade and cookie stand in our neighborhood to raise money for Feed My Starving Children. While she is off school, last summer she got a few of us kids in the neighborhood to help it, and it not only helped us learn to work together, but it also helped us raise money to feed um, kids in other countries across the globe. I think this bill is important because Senator Chamberlain is helping us find a way to continue this again for next summer and make a difference. And um, Michael, Michael, <laughs> My name is Michael Kisselishan. I'm currently a seventh grader at Roseville Area Middle School. Over my two and a half years of scouting, I'm only four merit badges away from earning my Eagle Scout. In scouting, I've completed my entrepreneurship merit badge. In doing so, I learned how to create a business plan, promote my product, and learn how to match price with demand. After completing the merit badge, I've been interested in starting something of my own. When looking at, all, when looking at the forum for a small time vendor, I noticed Minnesota tax identification number business owner social security number, federal employer identification number, and policy number. After trying to figure out what all of those numbers are, you have to pay $50 worth of fees. And as if icing on the cake, if you don't have the license, you can get fined for even more money. Honestly, I believe that gaining an inspection, filling out paperwork, and paying multiple fees is asking too much from someone around my age. If I was selling, let's say, popsicles, making 25 cents on each, I would have to sell 200 popsicles just to break even for the license fee. I support this new exemption for the law because I support young entrepreneurs who want to expand their education. Thank you. Thank you. Next is Samantha and Luke. Samantha, you first. Some reasons I think it's important for kids to sell lemonade is because, number one, it's an easy and fun way to make money. Like if you look on a lot of websites on how um, to make money as a kid, which I do a lot because I like to make money to, for my bank account, um, extra spending money would be nice too. And they'll always list lemonade stands. But the thing is, there's so much fines and stuff that it's even hard to make a lemonade stand. And you always want to do it in public because in the public places, there's a lot more people to sell it to. Say something? Um, personally, I think making a lemonade stand is a good idea. So then, um, when you go to college, you'll um, get a, you'll have enough money to pay for it, and then um, you'll need more money for a car, and then you'll need uh, more money in your bank accounts for a car, for your credit card. So. I think it's a nice and easy way to earn money for college. Thank you. Anyone else? Wow. Anyone else wanted to say anything? You sure? Okay. Yes, All right. <laughs> okay, so there you have it, uh, the voice of the children. And we're just trying to protect them from excessive uh, regulatory burdens that that really will do harm to them. They don't need it. They've been doing this for a long time. So it's really about the kids, and they uh, explained it very well. By the way, the, the child's name in Minneapolis, I guess it's not Luke. I, I thought I saw Luke on here. I think I was thinking of Luke, but I don't have that 13-year-old boy's name, just so you know. So with that, do you have any questions for me or the kids? Senator, starting to before we uh, lower the All bar, right. Tell us, um, what, what is the issue here, and what exactly does this bill do for permitting more? giving permission, what, what is this about? Well, again, the 13 year old boy in Minneapolis doing something innocent, think something we've all done as kids or seen in our neighborhoods. He happened to have a hot dog stand on his property in his parents' yard selling hot dogs and the department uh, came along and said, this is hazardous, it's not safe, you gotta stop this and get the proper permit. So the police helped him get the permits. The issue is, just common sense. I mean, this is just good governance. Uh, we all want safe food and be careful. We want to be protected uh, when we eat. But there, I have not in my entire life never been exposed to an outbreak of anything from buying lemonade or a hot dog on the street corner from anybody, whether it's Puerto Rico or in, or in the United States of America. So uh, I think this is just about common sense, letting kids be kids, and just 
pushing back a little bit and saying, I got two nasty emails about this. When they heard about it, I got two nasty emails from people saying, you're crazy, this is a safety issue. That's what we're trying to stop, right? Yes, there could be some issues out there, but the majority of people are saying this is good, let the kids be kids, let them do what they want to do. Utah passed a law, Wisconsin is working a law. I wish we wouldn't have to, but there are Got to have some fun sometime in life, right? So it's about fun and happiness and doing One good stuff. Yeah. What does it say to you about government and government power? Not what you're doing, but what it's <laughs> Pat is trying to trying to get me going down a rabbit hole. But <laughs> but um, obviously, I think that we need government, but it needs to be limited in common sense. And by asking 13-year-old kids or 8-year-old kids to get a permit and go through classes to learn how to handle lemonade or hot dogs safely is a bit excessive. It's about common sense government. We need government, but it needs to be common sense. And asking these kids to do something else is not common sense. Senator, I, I see kids with lemonade stands in my neighborhood out in Chenhassen every day in the summer. Are they supposed to have permits? I, I know for a fact none of them do. Right. Are they subject to legal action? Technically, yes, because the state, prior to this legislation and the simple legislation it is, the department could technically come out and say, if you have a hot dog, if you're selling a hot dog out there or something other than water, that you'd be subject to being shut down. And that would be up to the city. And some cities have acted on that, some have not. A neighbor might say they shouldn't be doing this, or the city may act on their own. So technically, yes, they should have something. And that's not talking about lemonade, anything other than water? Well, you could, you could because there was no uh, law saying they, sh they could sell that was permissive, they could have been, I mean, they could technically be shut down because of it, yes. So you mentioned this 13 year old who almost got shut down. Yeah. How many kids do you know of that have been shut down? Well, I just know of that one, and I don't know of any others personally which is fine. I don't want any others to be shut down or attempt to be shut down. So that's kind of the thing. I just know of the one, and I know Utah has got a bill and Wisconsin's working on one. So I have heard stories from other states. So one would hope that we wouldn't have to do this. And we have important issues in the state, but this is certainly one of the issues that I think is important. Let the kids be kids. Little common sense. I think it goes a long way. Anything else? No, no. You want to ask the kids something? Yes, absolutely. All right, here we go. All right. Can <laughs> the young man who first uh, came up? Will you tell me your name again? David. David, uh, good to talk to you. What is it like when you're out there and uh, you're selling? Uh, tell, tell us your experience when you get out with a lemonade stand or whatever it is that you're, you're doing. Well, how do you, how you well, mean? Well, when people come up to you, are people nice to you? Uh, are, you know, have you ever thought about this before that somebody well, yeah, you might say you've got to shut it down? I've never been shut down, no. Right. But I do learn, it does give you like good people experience, I guess. Like interactions with other people. It helps you get out there, know other people, learn how to uh, sell something, how to like, they say they don't want to, like, they don't like your price, you can learn how to like haggle. It teaches a lot of uh, lessons. They don't do that, they don't tell you <laughs> no. like the I, I have once on something yeah. else. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Anything else for the kids? All right, well, thank you very much, and thanks for coming out and asking questions and listening, and thank you to all the kids for coming out and doing it. Yeah, great job. Yeah. 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 Who's running the stand? That's a